Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square, and inside the square are regions of triangles in which this square is subdivided a yellow, a green, and a blue, and a light blue one. And the yellow has an area of 100 square units, and uh, the others are unknown. We are required to find the area of XYZ in this figure. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we actually can draw a quarter circle in this square because this line, this line, this line is actually congruent to this side of the square. And of course, since this is a square, then this should be equal to the other side. So if this, we can actually draw a quarter circle okay so next is we can also draw a semicircle inside this because this is a right triangle given and please I apologize because the drawing is not perfect Okay, so next is we draw a line from this point of the square and a perpendicular line to this edge of the yellow square. And since we have this yellow triangle as a somewhat a sector of a circle, and because we have the two sides equal and if we draw this we actually have a perpendicular bisector and therefore this 100 square unit triangle will be exactly divided into two and that area of this half should be 50 and this should be 50. okay so next is we focus on this green triangle so if this green triangle is a right triangle, then if we label this as alpha, then this should be the other angle should be a complementary angle and we label this as beta. And if we focus on this line between the yellow and the green, if one angle is alpha and since this is a corner of a square, then the angle total measure is actually 90 and therefore this should be beta. And since this is a perpendicular bisector, we form actually a right triangle. And with that, if that is a right triangle, then this angle should be a complementary of beta. And that is alpha. And as you can see, the green right triangle and the yellow right triangle near the side of the square is actually have two angles that are congruent. And in between them is the, I mean, are the sides of the square. So we have this as a distance. So let's call this as half of this as t and half of this as t. So this would be 2t. And since these two triangles have in between them a common distance and because and since they are in between two angles then these two triangles are congruent and therefore y is actually equal to 50. And next is actually we can connect this point of, on the yellow square, this point to this point because we actually form a larger right triangle, a combination of a part of this green and the yellow and because it is possible because here is a right angle and we will be forming a right triangle that is larger than the yellow one so this angle is should be also a complement of alpha and this is beta okay and Okay, so next is we need to solve this distance. 
this distance from this point to this point if we draw a perpendicular a perpendicular line from that side of the square at the top then this we need to find this distance so let us call that as c okay so next is we observe that this part of this yellow triangle plus the smaller part of the green triangle form a right triangle and one leg is 2t and the other is t and if we use pythagorean theorem we can uh, solve for the hypotenuse and that is actually the square root of 2t square plus t square plus t square and that would be square root of 4 t square plus t square and that would be square root of 5 t square or t square root of 5 okay so next is we focus on the green triangle so the hypotenuse of the green triangle is actually 2t 2t while the this side the shorter leg is actually unknown and let us call that as a okay so if we compare this green triangle with the combination of the blue and the green then we have t over t square root of 5 is equal to a over 2t and a if we cancel this then we have this a is equal to if we cross multiply we have 2t over square root of 5 and next is we get the longer leg we get the value of we call this b and that would be b over 2t is equal to 2t over t square root of 5 and therefore we have to cross multiply b is equal to we need to cancel this and we have 4 t over square root of 5 and since we have the area of this green region as 50 then we have one half times the base times the height and we, these are the legs of this side if this right triangle so we have 2 t over square root of 5 times 4 t over square root of 5 so this becomes 5 on the denominator so we have to divide this cancel this then we have 50 times 5 is equal to 250 and over 4 then we have the value for t square so t square is equal to 250 over 4 or 125 over 2 Okay, so next is we are now ready to find this value of C. The shorter leg of this right triangle formed by this smaller blue triangle. If we put draw a line there, so we can actually make this a right triangle. And we already solved this hypotenuse, which is is that is actually 2t over square root of 5 because this hypotenuse is actually one the shorter leg of the green triangle which is a earlier 2t square root of 5 and we are actually looking for the value of c and by comparing this with the yellow or the green right triangle 
we have D over D square root of 5 is equal to C over 2T over square root of 5. And we can cancel this. And we have 2T over square root of 5 times 1 over square root of 5 is equal to C. So C is actually 2 over 5T. Okay, so now for the area of W, which is X, is equal to 1 half, since this is a triangle, times the base, which is the side of the square, which is 2T. And the height, which we have computed earlier, and that is 2 fifths of T. And we can actually cancel this 2 and 2. And we have X is equal to 2 fifths of T squared. But earlier we have calculated the value of t square as 125 over 2. So we will substitute that over 2 and we cancel this 2 and 2. 125 divided by 5 is equal to 25. So we have 25 square units for the value of x. Okay, so now we are ready to find the area of Z and we can write an equation about the area of the triangles inside this square. We can say that Z plus Y is equal to 100 plus X. Z plus Y is a, a basis which is the side of the square and the, their heights actually sum up to the side of the square and same with this yellow and the blue triangle they have the basis of the side of the square and the height sum up to the side of the square so they are actually equal to one half a square for 100 plus x and z plus y so their areas are equal and we have z is equal to 100 plus x minus y and z is equal to 100 plus x which we have calculated earlier as 25 minus y which is 50. So therefore, we have 125 minus 50 z is equal to 75 square units. Okay, so now to summarize our answers, the value for x is actually 25 square units and for y is actually 50 square units and for z is 75 square units and that will be our answers for the value of x, y, and z. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.